It is also said that Golwalkar supported the German hatred for, and there they quote, the Semitic races, the Jews. Now that really is the central point of National Socialism, is the hatred against the Jews. You see that they were against democracy, that was part of the political circumstances at the time, that was not so fundamental. In fact, there were very many uh, peoples around the world who for different reasons were against democracy at the time, chiefly the Soviet Union, but many others as well. By contrast, anti-Semitism was entirely central to National Socialism. Did Goldwalkar support anti-Semitism? Well, here they, we need not um, we need not hesitate, we need not be equivocal. Here we are very sure he was not at all anti-Semitic. In his survey of nations, because it's not only Nazi Germany, that's just very briefly mentioned in a list of many other nations, which he also holds up as models. The um, you know, nations whose experience are to serve as a lesson for us in Hindustan to profit by. The very first one is the Jewish nation. That nation he really holds up as an example. Now this is standard fare among Hindu nationalists. They look up steeply to the Jewish nation because they have managed to maintain their identity for about 2000 years when they did not have a state of their own under very adverse circumstances. They also managed to revive the Hebrew language and make it not even into a language that all Jews know, but in fact in a language that more than half of the Jews now accept as their mother tongue. Whereas in India the Hindus are not even capable to elevating Sanskrit as a common link language, let alone making it the mother tongue. So, Hindus are also proud of the fact that they, unlike all the Christian and Muslim nations, have always treated their Jewish minority well. This is also acknowledged by the Israeli ambassador. It's well known. So, not only is it a fact of history that Hindus have treated the Jews well, they also acknowledge it and are proud of it. To them, this is an important point that they can be proud of. And yet, anti-Semitism was the core of Nazism, and Kowalkar did not share it. In the modern age, when Zionism came about, the uh, Hindu movement immediately started supporting Zionism, which was not only Jewish, but which was also nationalist. They conceived of the Jewish nation as the normal subject for ruling a Jewish state. Just as they wanted to have a Hindu state, they thought it normal that the Jews would have a Jewish state. Uh, after that, Hindu nationalist parties have always advocated uh, diplomatic recognition of Israel, which Congress has conceded only in 1992, and the communists and several other parties, Islamic parties also, uh, oppose even to today.